Hello and welcome to the sixth video of my training series where I am teaching data analysis for beginners where from very basics I am teaching uh, how what is data when data becomes information the different types of data and in this sixth video what I'm teaching you why it is important to analyze the data so if you have not seen my previous week five videos which is taking you from very first step of from what is data to now the sixth step why it is important to analyze the data and this is important from the perspective of uh, you know understanding that once let's say you have done the data analysis which I have shown you in the last video how do you analyze the data uh, why it is important to analyze the data is also an important aspect of data analysis so that you can understand that let's say once you have done the data analysis how the decision maker is using it and that is where the why is coming so we will look at the three different perspective one from a government perspective then from a private company's perspective and then from an individual perspective as to why it is important to analyze the data and i will show you your real life example as to why it is important okay so to start with let's start with the first step that decision for mass population this is where the government comes in and i will show you two scenario over here one is development and production of covid vaccine we all have recently came out from the uh, covid and as you know across the world this was the first priority during 2020 and 2021 as to what vaccine governments or private companies should create so that uh, they can basically go and uh, give the vaccine to everyone now this is this was a decision for mass population uh, there were billions of people who got the vaccine and this is when you know what happens when they have to take a decision for mass population now in this case one has to take a decision to provide some sort of a medicine or vaccine and that is where they analyze the data for example they analyze the data from a covid perspective like those who had who have got the covid if they give the vaccine then the impact reduces also they have to analyze the data in terms of uh, you know applying the uh, applying the vaccine let's say to someone who have not got the covid but the chances reduces that is one aspect of it but uh, from a question of why why it is important because you want to save human lives right that's why they make a decision for mass population where they went ahead developed and produced the covid vaccine another example can be taken is the covid test so they developed the covid test that means the private companies or government organization in collaboration they developed the covid test just so that on a mass population they can do that test right and that is another example of when why they have to take a data decision for mass population to save lives Another is welfare policies for poor population, for example, giving subsidies to the farmers, right? Or creating a healthcare program for poor population just so that uh, those who are below the income uh, poverty line, they can go and uh, use this, uh, use this, you know, uh, healthcare program or affordable healthcare program and save money and don't they don't have to sell their let's say you know uh, assets and all just so that you know some one of the family member is saved so these are some of the decisions that uh, government takes another example i can give you is uh, is about you know taking more income from the higher class or higher income class people so that they can create policies for the poor population so how much tax to take and you know to increase by one percent five percent or at different places they, they take the data by analyzing it like how many number of people are there uh, their income level and, and how much tax they want to take on okay so that is about uh, you know decision when they have to take for mass population decision within private companies so why it is important to analyze the data for uh, private companies because they have to take a decision let's say the decision for example will it be beneficial to launch a new product so let's say somebody is in a baby care product and they want to launch a new product so what they do is they all they analyze the market as to uh, what is already present in the market right and uh, competitors like what is uh, what is how is the competitor doing what is the market size and whatnot right 
So they do all of this analysis and then figure it out whether they will be able to get benefit by launching a new product. So that is why it is important for a decision for a private companies to analyze the data. Another is how do we reduce our losses? So across the year for different departments uh, and uh, within different industries, continuously analysis happens on a month on month, quarter on quarter, year on year basis to identify areas where they are improving and the areas where they are declining. So the areas where they are declining, they take a decision that how do they want to reduce the losses? Do they want to improve the line? Can be one decision. Another is to just cut it off, right? So they take a decision based on this data, based on uh, when the data is analysis and then take a decision. So that's why it is important for them to uh, analyze the data to make to make a decision about whether to groom the existing product line or cut off. And third example I want to give you is retail. Deciding the average size of cloth for mass production. Very, very interesting example. So if you see these companies who are into, uh, you know, providing you the ready-made clothes, how do they decide about what size you have? And for almost like uh, 90 to 95 percent of the population, their sizes are perfect, right? And that is why they are able to survive. So how do they decide? They decided based on purely data analysis. They take the, uh, they basically take a good num data point, number of data points of the various uh, persons by let's say dividing between men and women and then deciding what should be the height, width and all the different parameters they have to take care while doing the mass production of data. Their sizes comes in small, medium, large, extra large and all of that and it's all depends, depend based on country to country, right? For example, uh, I am here in India, the sizes will be very different for men compared to let's say United States or Australia or China, right? A different types of uh, sizes based on the demographics. So that's how companies basically take a good number of sample population, do the data analysis and then decide, you know, the, the clothes they need to produce for mass population. So that is why it, is it becomes very really important for them to analyze the data. So I hope you got the idea. Now let's come to uh, a personal level that means our individual level uh, why it is important to analyze the data because again individual also has to make a decision decision like for example uh, which car to buy or which mobile to buy. So whenever you have to buy a car or whenever you have to buy a mobile you do a good number of data point comparison like what is the engine of the car, uh, what is the speed and what is the average so on and so forth right and then you decide similarly with the mobile what is the ram what is the uh, storage uh, what is the graphics and so on and so forth so all of that you decide and then basically you go ahead and and make sure that you this is a mobile within your budget you want to buy similarly second example you have is making a career decision so whether you want to go for a data analyst or a developer or a graphic designer or a psychologist, you know, there are a number of options that are available. So one has to make a career decision based on their interest or, you know, uh, based on sometimes what I have seen is people depends on what is booming they go ahead. For example, these days data analysts or data scientists are, you know, jobs are on boom. So many people I'm seeing, irrespective of whether they like it or not, they just go ahead and do that, you know, to secure the future, which is not wrong. I mean, that's that's individual choices. And then there are certain individuals who really like to do the data analysis, irrespective of whether this is a booming or not, right? Similarly, around 10 or 15 years ago, the, the, the jobs which were on boom was software developer or a database developer, right? So every, pretty much everyone, in the engineering stream was wanted to become the software developer. Now everybody wants to become the data analyst or data scientist because they see, you know, the number of jobs are increasing a lot. So that becomes also a very important factor. And if you see this, this is also a data point. One has to observe which job in demand. So that becomes a data point and you make a decision based on that. So these are all the different data points I wanted to give you to give you a perspective about why it is important to analyze the data. 
why it is important for government, why it is important for private companies, and why it is important for individuals, right? So I hope you have got a really good idea now. Now what I really want for you to do in exercise is find three other scenarios where data analysis has huge impact. I have already given you mass population, private companies or individuals. Give me three other scenarios. Either what you can do is you can take one scenario here, one scenario here, one scenario here. Or if you want to be really creative like main category government, private organization or individuals, think about three other different categories over there and uh, find the scenarios over there, right? So let me know, put those things into a comments, put your observation into a comments and that will be really interesting to see what you can come up with and uh, your, your thought process behind it. With that, thank you so much and I'll meet you in the next video for your data analysis journey.